Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, did you ever wonder how Jesus spent his days? I mean, you know, most of us don't really know how other professions spend their hours. I mean, we know some of the things that a police officer or a teacher or a doctor does, but, but we don't really know the details of their day. A lot of people, uh, you know, don't know what pastors do during their day. They kind of imagine different things. I remember meeting a guy one time. I mean, McCull- uh, we were still over at McCulloch as pastoring, but we had four worship services Uh, you know, about a thousand people in the church. And uh, he said to me, knowing that I was the pastor, he said, hey, so what do you do for a living? (laughs) And I said, well, actually, they pay me to do this, uh, which is kind of nice. And he's like, oh, that's cool. But he had no clue what I did with my day and uh, didn't know. So scripture actually tells us how Jesus spent most of his days. So Matthew 4, beginning at verse 23, says, and Jesus went through all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria and they brought him all the sick, all those afflicted with various diseases and pains, those oppressed by demons, those having seizures and paralytics, and he healed them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee and the Decapolis and from Jerusalem and Judea and from beyond the Jordan. That's it. That's how Jesus spent his day. So what, it, what does it tell us was that Jesus was busy? I mean, I, I love the fact that Jesus went to people. He didn't wait for people to come to him. You know, a lot of churches are kind of uh, plateaued and dying because they're waiting for people to come to them. That's what I love about Calvary. We serve our community. We're going to people. That's why we want you to invite your friends uh, to come with you. You're, you're there with people. So he's going to people. He didn't just wait for them to come. And, and then, of course, Jesus taught and proclaimed the kingdom. And that we want to do that. We teach the word of God. We want to proclaim Jesus as the only way to, to salvation. Uh, you know, we want to lead people to that life-changing relationship with Jesus. And of course, Jesus healed people, all people, all kinds of problems. He healed their physical problems, their emotional problems, their spiritual problems. And by the way, Jesus can heal you. If you've got an issue, then go to Jesus and ask him for, you know, healing. Ask him for prayer. It's okay to ask uh, as long as you're okay with the answer. Because the answer can be yes, the answer can be not now, the answer can be no, because I've got something better in place for you. But, but it doesn't hurt to ask. It's never wrong to approach him and ask for healing. And then all kinds of crowds wanted to see Jesus. And I think that's instructive because if we're representing Jesus in our lives, I think it draws people to us. People are drawn to Jesus. He was a man of love. He was a man of wisdom. He was a man of truth. He was a man of compassion. And, and I think if we embrace some of those things in our day-to-day lives, then it's going to be far more appealing for people to come to Jesus because we're representing him well. Because people need hope and truth and healing in their lives today. And the only one who can really give that is Jesus. So I hope that that blesses you, and I'm praying that you have a blessed day.